What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you can get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to share with you know, people, a teen boy will drop out in a Westmall and him go swim in our river with one of his friends and meet in difficulties. His friend will try to save him and couldn't save him. You see what I say? So I'm picture this me I go show you. Them find him body. Cause them a search for him from him drop out. I think about Monday drop out or so. And them a search for him from them time there. And them just find him. You see me I say he look like due to the every rain we fall. Him going out the water and the water rough. And maybe him could swim and just get swept away. You see me I say? So RIP to the family. RIP and condolences. So we are gonna move on with people. So there's an SOE in four parishes. Seeing SOE declared for Anover, St. James, St. Catherine, and Clarendon. State of public emergency have been declared across the entire parishes of Anover, St. James, St. Catherine, and Clarendon. Prime Minister Andrew Wallness said this decision underscores the government's commitment. To the safety and security of Jamaicans, Governor General Sir Patrick Allen authorized the SOEs upon the advice of the Commissioner of Police Anthony Anderson and the Chief of Defence Staff Rear Admiral Anthony Wem name Wems Gorman. So much name him have man. The SOE will initially last for 14 days, commencing at 12 on November 23. 2023 so after the 14 day my people you know what i mean um we see if them are go continue it you see me i say so it start today so when it go end um let me let me just read some more in a release on thursday anderson outline the alarming situation in this division. The Clarendon Police Division recorded the fifth highest number of murders, 99 among all police divisions, marking a 14% increase compared to the same period in 2022. Clarendon and St. Catherine being adjoining parishes intensify our concern accounting for 24% of the nation's murders since the beginning of the year wow that's alarming in the saint james police division the highest number of murders across all division was recorded totally totaling 169 from january 1st to november this division also experienced the highest number of shooting incidents totaling 101 during the same period the adjoining of st james and Anover further exacerbates the situation with their combined geographical area counting for 20 percent of the nation's murder since the year started so people you see that 24 percent between st catherine and clarendon 20 percent between um Anover and st james that are almost 50 percent of all the killings in a jamaica you see me i say clarendon and st catherine combined with anova and st james four parish out of the 14 parishes in a people four out of the 14 parish contribute to about half of the dash where they were going in a jamaica that's alarming me no matter the state of emergency me not lie so we are going to move on with people see so the next thing I'm gonna share with you there's a man on for about 10 man right now. Seeing after them try breaking our supermarket and the police them catch them red and did and a little can in Guan, but nobody no get can still. So man on launch as 10 gunmen evade police during supermarket breaking attempt in Spalding. The police in Manchester have launched a man on in search of a group of gunmen following a shootout during an attempt break-in at a supermarket in Spalding on Thursday morning. A police source told our news team that about 3 a.m. 10 armed men traveling in at least three cars attempt to break into the establishment located close to the Manchester Clarendon border. The police were reportedly met with heavy gunfire when they responded to the break-in 
and a shootout ensued. The gunmen managed to escape, reportedly abandoned two motor cars at Walderston and Spring Ground. The police said one of the vehicles was reported stolen. There was no reports of injuries to any members of the police team. So them don't know if none of the man them get caught up. And so may I say, so leave your comments in the comment section, my people, and we are gonna move on. A man was shot during an alleged tussle with a policeman on Beckford Street in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland on Wednesday afternoon. The man, who has since been hospitalized under police guard, was reportedly shot after he attempted to take the cop's gun, our news team understands. Reports are that around 2.30 p.m., a police team and foot patrol observed two men fighting and intervened. The now injured man who was armed with a stone and a piece of board was instructed by one of the policemen to drop them but he did not comply. The man, it was reported, threatened to hit the cops if they try to apprehend him. He then allegedly attempted to throw the stone at the team of policemen and one grabbed onto him and tried to subdue him. This resulted in a tussle between the man and the cop. It is alleged that during the tussle, both men fell to the ground and the policeman's gun fell from his holster. The cop retrieved it and the man reportedly attempted to get control of the firearm. Another tussle ensued and a round was discharged from the cop's weapon. Another policeman reportedly used his baton to strike the man's right leg to subdue him. He was subsequently restrained and transported to hospital where he was treated for a wound to his right leg and admitted the cop with whom he had the tussle was treated for minor injuries. So people, me see a video just a while ago. I don't know if I can really Put it up, come on and share the video with you know. Seeing them say about two or about five man them say I think. I remember the amount of man. Seeing, but me see the video with some police um have a man on the ground. You saw me I say handcuff him behind him and shoot him up in the back of one, 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 one van with them have. You see me? Them see a couple man go for dash with the manager for Petro Jam. You see me I say, so if any more update upon that, I'm going to share with you guys. You see me? I'm not going to share the video with you still. You know what I mean? So them say about five men I think go for dash with the manager, a petrol a petro jam, and the police, them all on upon them. You see me? So as soon as there's an official report, you see me? I'm going to give you an update upon that. So we are going to move on, my people. Three accidentally shot by guard at NCB. In Portmore, Georgia. What is father? Three people were shot at the National Commercial Bank in Portmore, St. Catherine, this morning when the gun of a beryllium security guard accidentally, accidentally discharged. They were shot in their legs and were subsequently rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital. Boy, my people, them beryllium security guard, yeah. Remember, me tell you, say them they on edge. On a stay far from them because them nervous too, especially in a demi time. Yeah, on a stay far from them, please. Me, I beg on because right now, them, them, Gigi. It is reported that sometime around 10 o'clock, a beryllium security team went to the bank to load automated banking machines while doing so the firearm of one of the guards reportedly accidentally discharged hitting three customers activities at the bank are still continuing with customers being read uh, redirected to a different entrance people don't stay far from them barely on security you see me i say call them gg i know so glad say a leg shot them get you see me I say so that are the greatest thing them still alive you know what I mean sorry say them get shot but at least I ain't a them leg so bless up on yourself my people thanks for watching leave a like subscribe click the tap bell icon to get notification as soon as there's an update me I go share with you now so thanks for watching again